Ann Nauer, and welcome to Carrie's Kitchen. Every family has its own traditions at Christmas time, and one of mine is to make cookies. Um, sometimes there are cookie recipes that get passed down between the generations, um, and sometimes you kind of start the tradition yourself. Well, this is a cookie recipe that I found in my family, and I've been making it since, probably since I was about in the sixth grade. Um, these are Greek butter cookies, and I remember I found the recipe when I was doing research on the country of Greece, and I'm pretty sure I made them for my class and took them in. And they've just been such a big hit since then. They're really easy and very tasty, and they keep for a really long time, so they'll last you the whole holiday season. Are you ready to cook? Okay, first we're going to make sure that all of our dry ingredients are ready. So I have two and a half cups of flour here, and I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of baking powder. Sprinkle that on. Now half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a mix. Okay, I'm going to put this aside and we're going to start using the sugar and the butter, the best part of any recipe. All right, so this is a cup of unsalted butter and a half a cup of sugar, which is kind of light for a cookie recipe, but that's because we're going to be putting more powdered sugar on at the end. And then one egg. All right, I'm gonna mix this one about a medium until it starts getting fluffy. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm just gonna give the bowl sides a little scrape down. Good. Now I got the butter really soft before we started, which is making this go very nicely. Okay. I'm going to start adding the dry ingredients, and I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. because it, it's really great flavor. And I want to use a half a teaspoon of that. And then a little bit of vanilla as well. And this is just my homemade vanilla. I buy vanilla beans, put them in vodka, and the alcohol extracts it out. It's pretty much the same as what commercial stuff is. are all the ingredients. That's why this is such an easy recipe. And since the butter is really soft and we're going to be rolling this with our hands, I'm going to put it into the refrigerator for a little while. Now, I think we're ready. Um, we're going to roll them into half tablespoon balls and then put them on an ungreased cookie sheet because these are butter cookies. There's plenty of grease already in there. I'm going to use a little bit of my powdered sugar on my hands, kind of like you would flour, but this won't make the cookie dough any thicker. Great. And they don't have to be perfect circles. Mine always turned out kind of top shaped. I think that's funny looking, so I'll try to get them a little rounder than that. I'm going to place them about two inches away. I like to keep them on the smaller side because that way you can fit the whole thing in your mouth when you're eating it, which is good because it has powdered sugar and when you take a bite, the powdered sugar goes everywhere. I'm 
All right, so we've got a sheet ready. Now we're ready to put it in the oven. We're going to cool them on a rack, but I think I'm going to take them off the sheet. Yeah. And here's my handy dandy little powdered sugar sifter. If you don't have one of these, uh, a classic sifter like you would use for flour works really good. It's going to make a mess on the countertop, but I'll deal with that later. And there you have it. Our Greek butter cookies, perfect for Christmas.